All right, so this demo is gonna talk about how to rotoscope in Flip a Clip. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going into uh, Flip a Clip, I'm gonna start a new file, and what I would recommend is probably going with something like eight frames uh, per second. So the most you can do is six second clips if you bring in an existing video clip, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take an existing video clip and we're gonna draw into it onto it. So. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit start on this one. I selected eight frames per second and I'm gonna hit create project. So at this point there's nothing in here, uh, but what I'm gonna do is import a video that I've already taken. So I kind of planned this out where I was gonna draw into my clip and so I'm gonna go into my video library. So I kind of thought about, uh, this is my recorded video from earlier and basically I'm just kind of standing there and I just turn my head and I just kind of point or have my finger up there. So what I was thinking is I just kind of draw some lines that might interact with myself and my finger or some lines that maybe draw around me. So um, that's kind of be, that's gonna be what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna hit use. And now, because I can only do six seconds, I'm gonna need to trim this down. This is a 17 second clip. I believe the second half was the, uh, was the portion that I wanted to use. So we're going down here. All right. And so I'm just gonna hit check. So I trim this up. Now I'm, I'm really just kind of figuring out the math on this, like it doesn't tell me, but I know if I go, let's see, I'm at 10, so I'm probably gonna need to move this up a little bit. I might need to move this to 11 something. So let's try that. And hit check. And it'll tell you if you go over the six second mark and then you wouldn't be able to use that, so. So at this point, you can see down in my, in my timeline, my frames, are all broken down from that video clip, right? So we had about a 60 sec or a six second long clip. So we have, let's see, 47 frames at roughly eight frames per second, all right? And I can always go in and delete out some of these if I don't want them. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go back to frame one. I'm just gonna kind of briefly demo how I might go about this, right? So I'm gonna say, all right, I wanna have something else going on here where maybe there's like a line animating around me or um, onto me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to my pen I'm gonna pick a color that I want to use. I'm gonna say let's go with like a with like an orange, brighter orange color or something. Right, I could do multiple colors. I can do multiple lines and shapes. Um, I could totally take out the background if I wanted to. Uh, what I'm gonna do first though is I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna go to my layers. And I'm gonna say all right on layer one. This is the layer I'm actually drawing onto. So I might even want to lock my video layer so I don't mess with it. Okay, so I'm on layer one and I'm gonna go ahead, and that's my rotoscope layer. So I'm gonna start just kind of drawing in first. So frame one, maybe there's nothing going on. Maybe there's like some uh, really simple semblance of a line that starts. Now you can see it kind of popping up there. I think that's a little bit thin. So I'm gonna go and tap and just expand this, make this a little bit thicker, and I'll draw that line on. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go to frame two. You're gonna see I have a little bit of that onion skin, and I'm gonna continue on that rotoscope line. So I'm gonna have this line start outlining my my outline of my body and my shoulder here all right so for time's sake i'm going to kind of leave it leave it go here and uh, i'll play this in uh, sped up okay so at this point i kind of have my uh my body outline so let's see what this looks like so far so you're gonna see this line kind of come around and just kind of disappear, then obviously it switches over. So I'm gonna start doing some other things that, um, that might just kind of enhance the animation here. So, so one of the things I'm gonna do is when I get to this point where maybe like that line will disappear, or I could even have that stay there, um, I'm gonna maybe have something like shoot out of my eyes. So I'll go in and just kind of, in this frame, have a little, whoop, that one's a little bit thick, so I'm gonna go back and just adjust my line weight. Now, one thing we want to think about here is maybe, again, time and space. So how fast do we want this thing that's kind of shooting out of my eyes to, to play? And I'm just kind of progressing this so that it eventually will go off screen. Okay, and then that part, it's going to disappear. So another thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to start thinking about uh, maybe having something else interact. So it's, at this point, my, my hand goes up, right? And boom, let's see here. So I'm gonna have something kind of come off my hand. I'm gonna change colors now. So I'm gonna go maybe like a teal. And so we'll see. At this point, my hand's off screen. At this point, my hand comes up. So I'm gonna just maybe have some like, you know, a little bit thinner line. 
have something kind of start sparking off my finger. And, you know, just kind of interact there. And I'm just kind of continuing on here. Like, what else could I have this line do? Now, this is kind of where you can start getting a little bit, you know, more creative and thinking about how might like this line interact with my body or my fingers. And what I'm gonna say here is I might have this line maybe go behind me, right? And then maybe reappear on the other side. And what I'm gonna do next then is also have this thing kind of interact with me in space. So this line right here, I'm gonna make it appear like it's going behind me. And then at this point, I'll have it extend kind of in front. So next shot, this one maybe will continue on. You can see, again, I'm using those onion skins to kind of pinpoint where about the next frame is based on the first one. Okay, I'll continue on here. So kind of juxtaposing these lines in there and, and making the illusion that something is, is interacting with me. Again, I could probably be a little bit cleaner here, but let's see how this is looking so far. Okay, I got my line that's popping up around me. Has some stuff shooting around. Now, actually, like, I think that turned out pretty cool. I like that little scene there where the uh, the blue lines are kind of circulate, circling my or circling my body and my head and and kind of playing around there. So I'm gonna keep going with this. So I will uh, let this play, and you can kind of see how I'm adding it and going in and adding some some new uh, some new animations. One of the things you're seeing me do here is kind of bouncing back and forth and like looking. I, I'm looking at the. Uh, the onion skins, but I'm also taking a look at, you know, maybe what happened before in the previous cell so I can kind of get an idea of what, what I want to really do next. So one of the things here that you want to kind of pay attention to and think about also is just in general like how fast things are progressing and how smooth you want your animation to be. So you can see that you know some parts obviously go a little bit quicker, some things go a little bit faster or a little bit slower. Um, you know it all depends on how you want those things to appear. Um, and then you know from here like I might really get crazy and start kind of filling in some some massive areas. Right now I've just kind of been playing around with like the line work going around myself. Maybe I want to do some more stuff. Maybe I want to totally black out or block out the uh, the background here. Maybe I want to go in. Maybe uh, let's get a color we haven't used yet. We'll get like a hot pink. And now I'm going to go in and just kind of start filling in, you know, background space, right? So there's no right or wrong answer to like what you decide to do, but obviously make sure that it kind of looks cool and you're you're getting the result that you want at the end, right? So um, that is uh, the rotoscope animation demo. Uh, good luck, have fun, you know, be creative with what you're doing and how you're kind of adding these lines on top of your existing video that you find. Um, I would recommend, you know, something with yourself is always a good idea, uh, but also uh, feel free to use Pexels, download something and just kind of be creative. See what's out there, do some research and check out what rotoscopes are all about.